In today's video, I'm going to talk about organic matter quality and why this is crucial if you want to grow better plants and crops. Now, in my other videos, I have brought up the subject of organic matter, which is really important for soil to work properly. And this is because organic matter contributes to a number of different things in the soil. The first of these is it fuels much of the biological processes. And um, what I'm talking about here are things like bacteria and fungi, which use the carbon in the organic matter as a fuel. Um, there's other things at play that are kind of going on, dynamics with the plant and the plant roots. The roots will actually um, kind of secrete special um, sugars and enzymes, foods basically to encourage particular groups of microorganisms around that rooting area. But the organic matter really is a key driver behind microbial activity. One of the other reasons, of course, soil organic matter is important is because it adds structure to the soil. So just the very kind of physical makeup of the organic matter itself means that there are all kinds of nooks and crannies within the soil um, for air spaces to exist, not just the soil aggregates, the sand, silt, clay, and other things that kind of exist within soil. And so this can be important for helping porosity of soil and reducing things like compaction, which if you are growing no dig, for example, um, without any kind of tillage practices, maintaining an aerobic topsoil fraction is going to be really important. Now, before I go on, I'd just like to remind you that um, I'm always here to help you with your questions, so please do leave comments below. If you like this type of video, please give it a like, and also consider subscribing to the channel where I post more videos like this as well. But let's get back into soil organic matter. Now, the other reason that organic matter is really, really important for kind of soil dynamics is because of its moisture retaining properties. And what I mean by this is it can help actually regulate soil moisture. So whether you have loads and loads of rainfall, it kind of acts as a bit of a buffer. It can hold on to moisture and keep it in the soil for when it's needed by our plants. So during the summertime, for example, when moisture levels are lower, there'll be a little bit more moisture in the soil to help plants grow just that little bit more. Also, it can release water as well. So again, when there's too much water, it will absorb what it needs, but because of that kind of porosity as well that it creates, that I've just talked about, it can help uh, excess water to percolate through the soil more easily as well. So all of this is great in terms of uh, organic matter. This is kind of why organic matter is a good thing, but I haven't really touched on the quality. There's actually very little out there available to most of us um, to help us to determine if one organic matter is better than another. And is quite often the case, probably the best solution long term is a bit of a mixture of things. So first things first, um, there are some general principles which you can abide by. And that is um, number one, I would say, is to compost any organic matter materials as far as possible before you actually apply them to the soil. So if you're thinking about adding leaf mulch or old kind of green waste, perhaps as a surface dressing, as a weed suppressing mulch, then generally it will be better to compost it first if you can before applying it to the soil. And the reason for this is that it is more digestible by those microbes. It's likely to be absorbed quicker. Earthworms will obviously come up as well and grab it and take it down. And because it's already decomposed, um, perhaps in smaller physical chunks, it's a little bit more palatable, easier to naturally absorb and take into the soil than if it was um, kind of raw organic material. So first off, you know, in terms of quality, you can look at how degraded and 
particular type of organic matter actually is. The other thing that I would say about quality of organic matter is the intended purpose. Now much of what I discuss on this channel is geared around kind of supporting and driving the natural processes in the soil which will in turn help you grow better plants but in order to do this we need to feed the soil and so when we've done our soil testing um, if you want tips on how to do that check out some of my other videos but when you've done your soil testing and you understand the microbial balances in the soil it might be that you are looking to increase the concentrations or increase the diversity of one particular organism group for example fungi a lot of soils are fungally deficient and therefore in order to kind of boost numbers of fungi in the soil one key way to address that is to provide fungally um, attractive foods so particular strains of carbon or chains of carbon I should say like leaf mulch for example could be good for helping feed soil fungi the humids which kind of are released as it naturally degrades can help to stimulate some of those if you're looking longer term perhaps um, wood chip mulch as a surface dressing is great for stimulating soil fungi obviously the spores which the wood chip holds itself will also ultimately get incorporated into the soil as well however if you wanted to stimulate bacteria for example there might be other um, kind of easier to digest chains of carbon um, which might help stimulate those groups of organisms first and certain types of manures might be very good at doing this. So really in summary what I'm saying about the quality of organic matter is twofold. One is if you can you should be thinking to apply as many different types of the best quality materials that you can and ideally uh, the, these should be as degraded as you can and so you might consider um, a well broken down kind of material to be superior quality to a less broken down a kind of more raw material um, so how well kind of decomposed it is would in my opinion booster the uh, quality perhaps or quality perception of one material over another when looking to drive up levels of organic matter and the other key consideration here is the intended purpose is it just as a general conditioner to add um, structure porosity whilst kind of providing for a whole wide range of organisms in the soil or is it to stimulate one particular group of organisms and in that case you want to be thinking more specifically about the type of organic matter that you are adding. So there we go, bit of a hot take that one today on organic matter quality. There's loads I've kind of missed from this and I'm sure you guys have lots of questions so get in touch if there are specifics about this that you want to ask. Uh, for now though that wraps it up, I hope you enjoyed it. As I said before if you like it that helps me, it boosts it in the algorithm and gets it out there to more people. Um, but for now I'll see you in the next video.